There's going to be a huge rally for Brexit on Friday the 29th of March. Will you join me from 3pm in Parliament Square? Last Saturday the Remainers marched. They claimed there were one million of them aided by the mainstream media. Well, we know that was a lie. There was round about a third of that number. Let's have a say once again and tell Parliament that we've really had enough this time. Come and hear some great speakers. Join me in Parliament Square on Friday. See you there. In the meanwhile, let's have some fun watching more footage of the Remainers show that they know very little about the EU. Watch and enjoy. Yeah, I did vote, yes. I did. What did you vote? I voted Remain, of course. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Um, during the European elections in 2014, did you actually vote? Um, I believe I voted because they were, I think it was affiliated with some other vote, wasn't it? Some local... Election. Well, there was the European elections which sent 73 MEPs from the UK to, to um, the European Parliament. Um, who, who's your MEP? I don't know who my MEP is. This is part of the problem. We don't know enough about the MEPs, who they are, what they do, how they function. And where do you live? The only MEP we know about is Nigel Farage. And, and why do you think that the people here have got more of a democratic right than the 17.4 million people that actually put their cross on a ballot paper? <laughs> the... Hello, madam. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Would you rather have an EU army or would you rather be in NATO? Ooh. Um... Because you know Merkel and Macron have got plans for an EU army. Would you rather have that than, than NATO? No, no. Okay, because that's what's on the cards. Is it really? Yeah. I call that fake news. I'm just wondering, I mean, how many people here really understand how much is spent by the European Union? Do you know what their budget is for the next six years? Um, no, to be perfect. Do you think no. it's... 500 million or 100 million? No, do, do you reckon it's about 150 billion? I genuinely, I do, not answer, I do not know the answer to that question. It's 960 billion pounds. And then for the next six years, it's going to be 1.1 trillion pounds. Sounds, uh, sounds exciting. So what does acing gay and want to say mean to you? Well, we're both 18 and gay. And um, we basically want you know, someone who speaks for us. Um, before, we didn't, you know, we were too young to vote, um, but now we're not, and we want to have our say. Do you think all those older people that voted for Brexit took away your future? Absolutely. I mean, you know, if they allow people who are very old and might not even see the effects of it, but we're the ones who have to deal with what happens, it's going to affect what we do, our education, our future, our careers. It's going to affect us most. Why do you think that? How is it going to affect your education? Well, I mean, you know, it, it's going to affect absolutely everything. I think there's no way that you can, you know, downplay it, if that makes sense. Do you, do you know about the Erasmus programme? Uh, no, actually. And, and do you know that um, universities are actually funded by the British taxpayer and not the EU? Well, I, I didn't know that. Now we know we're not going to get the Brexit that we voted for, but I want to keep bringing you reports from Europe and the UK. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit that little bell symbol so that you don't miss another video. Thank you very much.